This morning I thought I would do the video out here in the middle of the street. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the one we were on evac. Nobody's around. I do have the station vehicle coming over this way. See, there it is over there. And I thought I'd show you the moon. Can we get the moon in there? Really cool this morning. Anyway, I think I hear a vehicle coming. So from the MyCareWithNow.com newsroom, stories about Adrian Dix, the health minister coming through 100 Mile House. Also checking in on the fire in the uh, Wells area, Wells Barkerville area. And a few other things as well coming up for you this morning. If you want to send a thank you card to those who have helped save the care with your coat, and you can do so with the Chamber of Commerce in Williams, like in the Tourism Discovery Center, you can stop them by there. Uh, looking at the weather forecast, not too bad today. Uh, tomorrow, though, it looks like we're going to get a chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm, and the winds, northwest 20 gusting to 40 tomorrow. I don't like that. Most of that wind and such is going to be in the Quinnell Williams Lake area, not so much for 100 Mile House. Sports, we've got a report on how things went for the ladies out of Williams Lake at the Canadian Rugby Championships. They're in the under 17 squad. And also, we've got from Sports Cornell's James Gimmel. Now, Cornell is where he lives now, where James lives now. He's born in 100 Mile House and is with the, uh, was named to a roster of players to go and try out for Team Canada. He's been on Team Canada since 2008, so hopefully he'll be able to join Team Canada again as they head off to South Korea for the Winter Olympics. You know, I was just thinking this morning downtown here, the smell is a little different. It doesn't really smell like a fire. It, uh, it's like a, it's like there's a garbage fire. It's a little different than the smell we've had before here in downtown in the Lake City, and I just know oh, it's just a little different. It doesn't smell like a forest fire area. It smells more like a garbage fire. So if you understand what I mean. Anyway, that's what's going to do it from the front of the building. As we're going to head back inside here, as kind of reminded me of the old, uh, you know, evacuation days when we had nothing hanging around. Can you see the ridge over there? Can you see the ridge? A little bit. You can see the ridge outline a little bit over there. So that's what we got going on this morning as uh, we're getting closer to the weekend. Going to head in the old studios and get things going for us this morning right here on the GOAT. See you later.